All right, friends, welcome back to Flight Test. We got a couple builds, don't we? Yeah, we do. Awesome. Our good friends at Eclipse in here have challenged us to build another set of models here. This time, we got a lightweight PLA, which is a super lightweight filament, and also the classic PLA model. We're both going to each build one and compare them in the sky. I think that was actually a comment that you guys wanted to see in the near future. We're going to be building the Eclipse in Model A, and at the end of this video, we're going to be showing you guys how you can actually download for free. And along with the Model A being free, you can also use the discount code FLIGHT to get 5% off of any of Eclipsen's models. And a huge thanks to Eclipsen because that offer lasts forever. So this is actually the first 3D plane I've ever built here. Noah's actually been building all the ones previous to this moment here, and I finally get to get my own. There you go. So both Noah and I are building Model A's here from Eclipsen. These are really great trainers. Mine's printed out a regular PLA, and Noah's yours is lightweight PLA, correct? Yep. So both of these filaments are actually from ColorFab. Now the lightweight PLA is about 40% lighter than normal PLA. Another cool thing about this lightweight filament is that it's just as easy to print as normal PLA filament. All you have to do is put in some different parameters. Now once you guys get those parameters set, it takes away the issues of bad layer adhesion and also warping. Now not everything can be printed in lightweight PLA. Now lightweight PLA is lighter, but the material is also weaker and the designs has to be adapted. Now Eclipsen did something really awesome. They tested all of their designs with normal PLA and lightweight PLA, that way it works with both. Now printing with lightweight PLA is not as expensive as people think at first by looking at the price of the spool. The reason for that is, is the flow of the nozzle rate is actually reduced by 50%. In other words, you're saving 50% of the material that you are using. So Noah has his airframe, I have my airframe. We're gonna get building here. This is not gonna take long at all. No, it isn't. Let's do it. I got you. <laughs> and neither one of you now has a pointer finger with a uh, fingerprint. Yeah. No longer. I was, I was blown away. Literally, I started about maybe five minutes ahead of him and he caught up to me at the very end. You're definitely a pro making these. What blows my mind is this assembled quicker than even a foam board airplane can, which is really incredible, especially considering the lines. You may have a lot of time printing these out, but when it comes to assembly, it's really, really satisfying. Now, I have the PLA version, you have the lightweight PLA version. I think it's time to see what the weight difference is. Let's do it. Okay. Was that about 195? One, 193, 194. 96, 97. 97? 97. So what was mine, 194? 193, 194. And 97. Holy cow, about that's 100 incredible. Gram. 100 gram difference. It does feel beefier, but the one really cool thing about whenever you have a heavier airplane, this may not have the slow stall speed or the slow flight characteristics, but it will penetrate through the wind a lot easier off of time. So I bet you what we'll see at the end of the day is two very different flight characteristics. Uh, not necessarily one worse than the other, but just different characteristics that will enable it to uh, either penetrate through wind better or soar a little bit better. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so we're done with the fuselage. Yeah, all we have to do is uh, build the wings and uh, put the electronics in. Nice. Feel. Holy, okay, feel this. <laughs> that is, wow, that, that does feel beefier. This is filled with helium and magic juice. <laughs> and mine's filled with lard. <laughs> so we had a couple different options here that you can print. We chose the belly lander because frankly, next week it's gonna be snowing and we're not gonna be able to really take this off the ground very easily throughout the winter. Uh, so I went ahead and chose to save a little bit of weight, but you could see this 3D printed pockets here, that's actually where the landing gear pucks will go into and insert. Or you can simply print the simple belly landing version and, uh, and land it on its tummy. So uh, that's what we can do and, and that's a cool option. The cool thing about the Model A design, it has been designed to be printed without retraction. Now retraction or travel is actually when the 3D print nozzle stops flowing 
to move to another point to begin the print again. Now that will result in stringiness and low quality prints. This type of design is awesome for lightweight PLA because the lightweight PLA is always flowing out of the nozzle. In other words, expanding when it hits the higher temperatures. So those things flew together. Yeah, yeah, we're already set to uh, put our electronics in here. Uh, the cool thing about this is although it takes a long time to print, these will pop together and it's really satisfying. With gluing both these together, or is it pretty much the same experience? Yeah, it's the same experience with the lightweight PLA and same with the uh, normal PLA. Awesome. Our airframes are all together and next up here is to finish installing our electronics. Guys, these airplanes are coming along great. There's one last thing that we have to do to these planes. We have to put decals on my dad's plane and then we have to put a really cool paint job on mine. Now the reason that we're putting a paint job on my plane is because the lightweight PLA doesn't really take decals that well, but it takes spray paint really well. All right, friends, we are done. We are ready to take this out for a maiden. I cannot believe the difference between the lightweight PLA and the class PLA. This is crazy. I know. It, mine weighed around 426 grams. And I would have lost this bet. I am actually just three grams under 700 grams. I'm, I'm 697 grams uh, weight. So cool thing about this, though, is I have a little bit more weight in my favor. It's a pretty windy day outside. Yep. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that extra weight because I'll be able to kind of cut through that a little bit easier. We're going to put them to the test on these planes here and see how they fly. So if you guys notice, my dad actually has a 3D printed spinner on his, and mine does not. And there's a good reason for that, because lightweight filament is just a little bit weaker than normal filament. It actually, if there's too much vibration, it can actually crack the fuselage. So if you guys decide to actually put a spinner on it, make sure the prop and also the spinner is perfectly balanced. Okay, all we have to do now is uh, go outside and fly these things. Okay, so friends, we are out here. It is cold. It, it is, is windy. Freezing. <laughs> it is freezing cold. It is Ohio. <laughs> and uh, we have two different planes. Now, one good thing here is we have the FT Aura 5 in both of these. We're gonna be testing out to see what the characteristics are. Just fresh FT Aura 5 out of the box. I wanna see how this behaves, but also I wanna try out a feature called Launch Assist that's on this. What Launch Assist will basically do is let you take all your energy into basically just giving the plane a good toss. It'll automatically keep the wings level and allow it to climb until you touch it with controls. Now this is really good for beginners. This is an awesome, hopefully, beginner airplane. We'll find out. All right, so we're gonna launch into the wind. I cannot believe grabbing from one to the other just how light this is. It doesn't even feel like a battery. I know. In it. The wind, the wind's real. Ready? Ready? Woo! Wind is real. So we have something level assist. It automatically keeps the wings level. We launched it in level assist, which is pretty cool. It's another great training tool. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in launch assist now. How's it fly, first of all? It flies know. amazing, holy cow. It is a perfect trainer. We got 15 mile an hour gusting 20, and uh, it is doing fantastic. <laughs> and this is light, too. Yeah. Okay, my turn. <laughs> there it is, it works perfectly. Okay, it is, the wind is real up there, man. Yeah. The funny thing is, the aura is kicking in great because I am just... <laughs> Poor Stefan's gonna go snow blind. Okay, this flies hands off. Look how that just carves through. Now I'm flying a four cell 2200 in this little guy, and it's handling it beautifully. This is even, this is even third throttle, by the way. Oh, Here, I'll do a punch out. Look at this. He's climbing like a climb is real, man. I'm okay. Just, I'm just hearing you punch the throttle just a little bit. You're, you're climbing. <laughs> all right. So as far as characteristics go, no bad tendencies. None this at is all. not an intimidating plane to fly at all. Now this is this is considerably heavier than yours, but it's still very light in the wing, which means basically the motor's not dragging it through the air. It's generating lift. It's flying the wing. So no, why don't you get behind me here? We'll see if we can fly a little formation. Okay. I'm just gonna slow it down in the wind. This is actually a really good test to see how well it does slow. So I can slow down pretty well, actually. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. But I thought it was gonna have like bad characteristics as far as you know, wanna wanna stall. Yeah. Nothing. You try to loop yet? Nope. Wanna try that? I'll try a loop real quick. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, she loops like a dream. I wanna do a fast buzz. Fast buzz. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. It's, it's, 
No one's playing, just like. That's awesome. All right, let's do a little inverted action here. Believe in you. Woo! Oh, man. My hardest problem right now is with those tan wings on the cloud. All I, I got know. is the fuselage. <laughs> it's not fun. It's just on rails. It's just. It's on rails. So, out of all the 3D printed planes, I said if, if there's going to be a first for somebody, this should be it. And it's free. And it's free. Free, free. Free, 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 free. All right, I'm gonna set up for a landing, not because the battery's dead, but because my fingers are frozen. I will be right, right behind you. I'm gonna turn this into the wind. I don't wanna walk, I don't wanna walk. Oh, that's not bad. Boop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on the runway covered in snow. All right, no, your turn. Perfect. If my hands were frozen, I could catch you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I land and I'm like, whoosh, into the snow. And he's like, <laughs> that was awesome. Honestly, this thing flew on rails. It was getting bumped around in the wind, but you know, I think the aura actually helped with that. Once I turned the gyros back on, it rock solid. And I was flying maybe, maybe half throttle. Two totally different, you know, weights and configurations. Two great experiences. It's a fantastic airplane. Absolutely. I love it. So friends, thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Also, big shout out to Eclipse, and thank you so much for not only designing an awesome plane, but making the download free for you guys to have your first great experience with a 3D plane. Also, thank you Color Fab. I love your filaments. It's just amazing to see how the 3D technology is increasing to make it more approachable, more affordable, and a better quality product. So guys, thank you so much. If you also want to see other 3D printed airplanes we've done, make sure you check them out in the links right here. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Come back for more. See you next time. See you.